Hello, welcome to Country Stitchers. I'm Liz. Hi, I'm Deb. It's been a little while since we mm -hmm. had a standard format video. <laughs> um, we were on tour at Dimensions last week. Yep. We, well, two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> last video. And then last week we were at our Super Bowl retreat. Yes, that was yes. fun. Um, that was that was a nice getaway, and the weather was so cooperative. I know we didn't want to leave and come home. It we had so a nice. little bit of sprinkles, but we had a view of the ocean twenty four seven. Mm -hmm. Well, twenty four five. We weren't there seven. Um, it was just it yeah. was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. We had a great time, and we had wonderful company. You'll hear more about that mm -hmm. as we talk about what we did mm -hmm. and and what we found. Um, before we get too far into our video, though, I wanted to. To share something with you that I discovered while I was watching floss tube in my living room the other day mm -hmm. I was playing with buttons and looking at all the different things because YouTube's in the process of changing their platform for us as creators and I was noticing some changes on the setup and the view um, if you click on the channel on the they call it the thumbnail it's a circle and it has your either your picture or your letter or whatever you have designated for your channel if you click on that for the video you're watching, you can now subscribe on television. Um, it may have been that you always could, but I had never <laughs> seen it. I had never gone to that level. And so uh, for me, it's new. If you don't know about it, then it's new. <laughs> now it's new to you too. Um, and if you did know about it, hey, I'm a little late, but at least now everybody who didn't know knows that has seen this portion of our video. Mm -hmm. uh, and then um, if if you're watching an older video we now we have about this will be 79 videos if you discount the two parters <laughs> and we're we try very hard to keep up with comments we're getting more comments as we go but if you're watching an older video can I suggest that you email Deb or I if you have a question as opposed to leave a comment on an older video. Yeah. We don't always get back into those. We can't make a commitment to always go back to the old videos. Yeah. I know there are feeds that will bring all those together, but we focus on our more current ones. Yeah. So yes. send an email and you'll more likely get an answer to your question. Mm -hmm. And also I'm on Instagram. You can send me a message there. And all that information is in our description box. Mm -hmm. And then... Mm -hmm. One and, last oh sorry no go ahead. One last thing I wanted to say uh, before we move into the crux of this video is thank you um, to all of our viewers for cards, letters, notes, gifts, things mm -hmm. that um, express your appreciation for the mm -hmm. time we put into our channel. We yeah we really appreciate it. It is so wonderful to know you're thought of. Uh, we it's, do. It's just such a special feeling. Thank and, you. And it's also nice to see in the comments what it is about the channel that you like. So, mm -hmm. you know, thank you for sharing yeah, that as well. Thank you. Um, referring back to older videos, <laughs> uh, we had an um, email from Paulette, and I wanted to let you know, Paulette, I do have an answer for you. You had mentioned um, in the uh, Christmas home tour that I did that in my kitchen you saw the Fresh Eggs Farm um, piece. I did the top part, the sign of that. Um, stitch and it is a design from Kathy Haberman artwork from Priscilla and um, I just did the top part that says Fresh Eggs Farm and I'll show it to you again real quick but if you would like the information um, as to how I did this check out video 9 and that lets you know about the fabric and the threads and then video 11 is when I show you my finish okay and talk to you all about how I did it um, and then you'll have all the info that you need that was our deconstruct video, wasn't yeah, it? And yeah, and if someone hasn't seen it yet, that's it. And it just hangs out in my kitchen all the time. And if you want to check it out too, video 9 and 11. All right. That's that. Dimensions. That was our last video, our tour. And it did not include a tremendous amount of information that we learned about dimensions. Mm -hmm. um, as well as just general discussion about their company and what we learned in our tour. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take that time now. We really want you to get the full flavor of our time with them. Mm -hmm. Those ladies yeah. were, and gentlemen were just wonderful to visit with. Yeah, a big huge thank you so much for your time. Yes. Oh my goodness. And the amount of creativity that is in that building is crazy. It is. Oh, it is. And, goodness. and the toys are I over the know. top. Um, oh. 
and some of the crafting areas that they use. Oh, yeah. It hurts to think about, but it, it was. not even be like going to work every day. It would I just know. be oh, play time. Like the dream job, right? <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, but it was. It was great fun. Um, yes. So what we want to do is just, aside from the wonderful day we had and the mm -hmm. wonderful people, let you know what we learned about it. There were a tremendous amount of comments generated um, as a result of the video. We're going to take a, a few minutes and talk about those comments first, and, and that will lead us further into our discussion about dimensions. Mm -hmm. um, I I want to let you go ahead and bring mm -hmm. up. Um, there were okay. There were threads of comments that were similar, so I uh -huh. we picked out just a yeah. few that kind of give the whole over, overall view. Yeah, so Kathy said, great video, very interesting. And the woman that assigns the symbols has an Elan lap stand on her desk. <laughs> and we, we noticed that too. <laughs> and what you didn't notice was there's one on everybody's <sighs> desk because everybody has to learn to stitch when they start there. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. And so they all that. had, they all, somewhere in their in their work area, they had one of those stands, and um, yeah, and some of them neat. had pieces on it that mm -hmm. they were working on too. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they don't all stitch as part of their job. Right, right. Um, Carrie, she said this was so awesome. Did you happen to ask if they would be willing to reprint some older designs? There are some Charles Wasaki I would love to stitch, and there's one called at Christmas Cove. Uh, and thank you to Dimensions for opening this up to us. <laughs> well. I don't think she's aware <laughs> of how we got involved with Dimensions in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Well, you want to talk... That scenic Farm from Dimensions, when I first saw that on YouTube, Floss Tube, uh, and it was uh, Michelle Rudy that stitched hers that I just was head over heels for, that was a retired pattern. You couldn't get it anymore. And then because we had two very, very, very sweet viewers that actually sent me two, pa two packs, two patterns of it, I have it now to stitch. But we had so much... Um, chitter chatter and talk about that pattern becoming more available together with our viewers. Right. So we put together an email and put it in the description box, just a suggested email, and we found the links and we said, if you want to express your interest, let them know that you'd like to stitch it. Maybe yeah. there's a place it exists we don't know about. And yeah. their response was over the top. Yes. And now it's available for they you. They said, we're going to go back and remanufacture that design. Yeah. Yeah, so wonderful. And they did that within the span of about seven months from our inquiries about mm -hmm. the pattern till mm -hmm. it was available. It was very short order, yeah. which goes to their response time and mm -hmm. their ability to mm -hmm. follow the market and the trends and the new designs. Yeah. It's a very quick mm -hmm. response. Mm -hmm. um, another email. Um, with so many stitchers in the U.S., um, it's a shame that Dimensions can't find the U.S. model stitchers to work on their products. I love the Dimensions products, and my very first cross-stitched piece was a Dimensions Gold cross-stitch kit called Stately Palm. I had never done cross-stitch before in my life and was able to teach myself from, the following, from following the directions in the kit. No YouTube or FlossTube video to reference, at least none that I knew about at the time. I actually want a ribbon on my piece at the local needlework shop where I took it to be framed. I'm sure the cost of labor is a huge factor in the decision to use stitchers in China. Just a bit disappointing to hear you say it's difficult to find people in the U.S. who would take the time to stitch, when YouTube and Instagram are chock full of stitchers, U.S. stitchers, who would probably love to be on your team of model stitchers. Now, that also came up, people's inquiry about mm -hmm. China. Um, first, I want to just say... That's only one segment of what outsourcing is about. Um, but mm -hmm. I do want to talk about that a little bit. And I, I want to say that this is just a matter of edification so that we all understand what they're doing because I think it's important. Mm -hmm. um, outsourcing is when one company hires another company to be responsible for a planned or currently existing activity that could be done internally. So one of the things is stitching. Um, another one is manufacturing. And those two issues are issues that, oh, this goes back over 10, 15 years now. There were trends happening in the global economy 
where lots of companies and organizations had to look beyond mm -hmm. what they were able to do within their four walls and say, what's the most economic way we can accomplish this in order for us to meet our objectives? Mm -hmm. One of the key objectives for Dimensions, and you heard Lori, the art director, talking about it. You heard Jennifer talking about it. And is, Leslie. Yes, mm -hmm. is the response time between when artwork is first seen in the marketplace and when it's out as a pattern to stitch. If you wait and it isn't done in a short order, you've lost the, the wave of interest in that particular piece of artwork mm -hmm. or that particular genre. Um, so mm -hmm. there's five things. <laughs> Ivan is not here. <laughs> there are five things that were considered mega trends impacting manufacturing. One of them was demographic change. In the most glaring one is the aging of our society. Um, that impacts what goes on with a company's decision making. Um, digitalization, everything going to computerized and uh, digital formats. Customization, that one, a perfect example of that is or excuse me, I used the wrong word. But what we're talking about there is the social trend in customization where with Scenic Farms, that piece caught on so quickly with FlossTube because of the digital nature of FlossTube, YouTube, the fact that it's available, people are seeing it. And then it got to, to dimensions through feedback and they were able to respond. If all of those processes were not the way they are right now, that response time would be affected. Mm -hmm. And then the, the last two that were trending at the time were the scarcity of resources and the shift in economic power. Again, probably too much uh, economics involved in all that, but basically their company made decisions just like other companies mm -hmm. make decisions. Right. And they're moving forward, and I am really mm -hmm. personally... Um, delighted with them opening their doors and showing us how they do their designing and what they're doing locally here. Mm -hmm. The company is in Wyoming right now. Um, they do have 30 international offices. So um, the Wyoming office for CSS Industries is just one of the locations. Um, one of the things that... Um, that the stitching of models takes is the ability to do it fast, but then also the avail mm -hmm. availability to do it right now. These people are contracted. It's not about do people have time and do they have an interest. Mm -hmm. All the designers in this country know that when they have model stitchers, there are other things that impact those model stitchers. Life impacts those model stitchers. What they do with their regular time impacts them. and. And this is a direct contract, mm -hmm. so it's expedient for them. Yeah. Anyway. And it's mostly the very large ones that yes. are out. They do a lot they of in-house stitching. Oh, a lot. Yes. Yeah. So all in all, we want to just mm -hmm. reiterate that um, our channel and our purpose here in sharing dimensions and all of the things that we're going to look at today um, and every video is to share the joy of needlework. Mm -hmm. We don't have a channel here to be used as a political platform. Mm -hmm. So please bear in mind when you make your comments that if they start to go in a direction where they're becoming aggressive or combative or just very political in nature, we're going to remove them. Mm -hmm. um, that's not what we're here for. Nope. So we want to share the joy of needlework. And we thank Dimensions for everything that they have shared with us about that. Yes. Um, they have employees there that have been there for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And they, the group that they have there, um, right down to the to Barry, who does yeah. all their in-house <laughs> photography. We tagged Barry him. Barry helped us so much. He actually didn't have <laughs> so to. Sweet. He wasn't slated to be with us. <laughs> um, he had a meeting to go to, but we asked, could you do the photography for us so mm -hmm. we can walk through with everybody? And he was so nice, and that he did nice. that. Um they have licenses for companies that do ribbon and trim, mm -hmm. sewing patterns, Simplicity, McCall's, buttons, mm -hmm. uh, general crafts, rubber stamping, um, the Inky Doo, 
inky dinky doos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the paint by numbers that you saw. Um, they have iron stick on patches. Needle crafts. We saw the gambit of a lot of needle crafts. Oh, they the have perler beads. They have perler beads. They have latch hook. Um, and then we're going to show you some things they shared with us that we learned um, since we were there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hang on, Jennifer. You're going to get to eat. Um, and then kids crafts, like Deb said. But they have licenses for things like DC Comics, Disney, Hello Kitty, Dr. Seuss, Outlander. Uh, then designers like Tracy Reese, Rebecca Taylor, Marcy Tilton. Yeah. It's just, yeah. it's very broad. It's amazing. And one of the things they have on their website is a timeline. And that timeline is phenomenal. It starts at 1898 with John Gibson and continues to move forward from there. Talks about William Wright, who's in our backyard. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they now own Wright, which is the trim and uh, bias company. So check out the link on the timeline and just take a look at how this company has evolved and how they've carried trends forward and what they're doing now. Um, it's just, it's, it's refreshing to see that at that level. So their desire is to promote our creativity, and I just think they do a tremendous job mm -hmm. about that. Definitely. And um, while we were there, do we want to show um, what they uh, provided us for, yeah. your, for our viewers and also what they provided to us yes. um, to learn a little bit from? So we were given three beautiful cross-stitch kits to share with you, our viewers. Um, and we're going to spread them out. We're going to we're going to offer one now to to you. I love this one because of course it has another red track in it. Um, it's this kit right here, and it's called Winter Ride. And if you look really closely up here, there's three Hanks. Right <laughs> and up if here you by look the barn. down here, there's four golden retrievers. So they should have been black labs, but they <laughs> do have a black lab. You'll see a black lab. Oh mother. yeah, it's really yeah. cute. This is a beautiful, beautiful kit. Comes with everything. Um, and if you are interested in becoming the owner of this, how about if you leave something in the comment that talks about a red truck? Oh, okay. Does that sound okay? I thought we were doing winter. You want to say winter instead of truck? Yeah, let's just keep do winter? one word. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Scratch that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something, make sure you mention winter in your comment. Perfect. All right. So that was very sweet, and we want to thank you very much, everyone at Dimensions, for sharing that. And then they also had um, some cute gifts for us while we were there, and one of the gifts is very new to us because we had not did it before. It's needle felting, and so I was given a llama to felt, and Liz has a hedgehog. A hedgehog. Yeah, so we actually started these when we were away over the weekend, and... I did not get my llama finished, and she got her hedgehog finished. So you want to show your finish? You want to show your body parts? Oh, yeah. Well, I have my legs going <laughs> and have my little body. Um, show them. And it's really cool because you actually, you you start off with just the wool your, your wool. Yeah, and it's nice and loose like this, and you can pull it apart. You They, they give you great directions on as to how to do this. Uh, and then you use certain needles that Dimensions has. And you're basically, your felt is laying on this foam pad and uh, you just go to town. You with, uh, basically you're punching the needle into the felt and eventually it, it takes a shape. It, it kind of becomes one, like the felt just kind of melds together and it's awesome. Um, it does hurt when you poke yourself with these. I did that a lot while Liz and I were sitting there. I don't think you poked yourself once. No. And I did it many, many times. Every finger, I think, right? I, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, so be careful of that. But I think I must really get into it when I do it. <laughs> well, the the needle itself, oh. if you look, and and the the They're the sharp. whole purpose behind it, you take all the individual threads from the roving, and then the needle has a bore that's drilled along the outside, and that grabs each thread and pushes it into other threads, one motion at a time. And so it, it is time consuming if you want something really firm and you're making these shapes, mm -hmm. it, it takes time. Yeah, it does. Um, but it's fun and I always wanted to try it. So mm -hmm. I was really excited. Now, yeah. I 
made a couple changes to the final finish on my hedgehog. Um, I didn't name him yet. I should probably name him. But here he is. And I used, as you can see, instead of taking the thread and embroidering the little quills down his uh, brown needle felt on the back, I decided since I have another little hedgehog in my curio cabinet from Just Nan that has the pins as his spines um, or quills, that they're actually, I looked it up because I didn't know what they were called. I was going to say, what, what do hedgehogs have? They are, they are considered and referred to as spines or quills, but it's actually their hair and it's made out of the same thing as our fingernails. Oh. So it's their hair, but it's fingernail type material. So it's very hard. Oh. And so they call them both things in what I looked at. Huh. And um, they're done with pins in the Just Nan with little beads on them. That's and I cute. thought, oh, I should do him. And then he's about three times bigger than the other little guy that's in my curio cabinet. So it'll look like mommy and baby. <laughs> <laughs> so there he is. And, oh, just so you can see. One of the ladies, uh, we were with Sandy and Lila for the weekend, and one of them said, how do you get the legs on there? Well, you do the same technique. You needle felt them right into the body. So you, you leave a, a really loose edge on the leg or whatever part you're attaching, and then you work it into the rest of the body, roving with the, the needle. And then, I mean, they're firm. They just, it's really, it's fun. It's a whole new illness to work with. <laughs> a whole new disease to play with. Um, so my sister used to call him. She said, I can't afford to have another illness. <laughs> she goes overboard. So, And we also got some perler bead kits, which will be really we fun. We did. We did. And Deb and I have both done perler beads in our background oh, with children. Oh, my goodness. McKenna and always had perler beads. We had huge containers of them in the playroom. She was always doing them. Whenever we had friends over, always. So a lot of fun. And Kylie and Kelsey will remember us doing all the ornaments that we did, the Halloween ones and the Christmas ones. And Mama might have something else In fact, when Kelsey graduated do. from doing them, I gave them all to you. Yeah, <laughs> I have a big bucket of beads. And then I had bought the little kits that Michael sells in all those little places. Um, and that's all I had seen. I didn't know that if you walked into a store, you had an entire department of perler beads available. Yeah. Um, oh, and the different shaped frames that yeah. you put them on and all those things that Deb had. So yeah. the girls and I had fun and um, Kelsey and, and Kylie, or I mean Carly and Casey yesterday was their birthday. Aww. Happy birthday girls. Happy birthday. Um, you'll, you'll get to do some perler beads pretty soon. Yes. And and all of the things from Dimensions some of them are, are well they're all um, available through different avenues. Different, different retailers you yes. know um, have different parts of, of dimensions. Different so lines are carried. Yep. All of that, Liz, is going to list in the drop box for you. So if you do want to start needle felting, you'll know exactly where you can purchase yes. those kits. Yes. And that is pretty much today what we wanted to share about mm -hmm. our experience last two weeks ago. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying last week because it wasn't last week. And then we went for a getaway. Yes, we did. We did go for a getaway. And it went way too fast. And that's what we're going to talk about now. Yes. So hopefully you got to experience some Super Bowl sales. I know a lot of different stitching stores offered them. Um, and so we took a trip to Salty Yarns because they offer a Super Bowl sale and um, we get to go and hang out with friends. And this year we stayed with two of our friends. We had one of our friends from Alaska and that was Sandy, and she was able to come in, and then Leela drove from Virginia, um, so we all got to room together and just have a great visit. We did. Great time. They, um, they're part of the Jamboree Posse, mm -hmm. <laughs> which we are registered for, and we might add, um, if you're interested in the Jamboree at Salty Yarns this October, they have the three classes pretty well nailed down, information's in their website. Mm -hmm. um, but it's filling fast. So look in our description box for how to contact them. Mm -hmm. And if you're thinking of going, you might want to get your deposit mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Liz is all excited because one of the classes, I can't believe you haven't said it. <laughs> I haven't yet. I'm shocked. Well, I was going to say it when I showed something that I got while I was away. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> you have to wait. TikTok. 
<laughs> hey, little tease. All right. But we had a great time. Um, we did shop. We shopped two days. I stitched one whole day. I didn't even leave. It, well, we did leave that evening. We had a get together, but I stitched all day. It was mm -hmm. so much fun. And I will be the first one to tell you because you will hear it from somebody in the future, I'm sure, I took my own recliner. Oh my gosh, I that did. was hilarious. I did. Who travels with their own chair? <laughs> I do. Have my light. Have but it my... worked. It was so funny though because we all show up at the same time and you have to take this elevator up to the fifth floor where we're staying, right on the beach, a gorgeous place, loved it. But um, so instead of riding the elevator up every trip, you know, and taking things out of the car, we decide to load. That was, Load the elevator. That was Leela's idea. We had actually started slipping yeah. at one so handful of So we blocked the, the door so it wouldn't <laughs> shut on us. And everybody's bringing stuff from their cars. I mean, that elevator was packed. Loaded. And in the middle of it sits a recliner. <laughs> in two parts. And we Easy got it upstairs cares. and it worked out great. They were nice. They were very nice and helpful. They, they toted that thing in, set it up, and then toted it back out and put it in the van for me. <laughs> but I have... If it was a well, shorter it, trip, I wouldn't have taken it. But mm -hmm. to sit on other people's furniture for that length of time with my back, I would have been, mm -hmm. I would not have enjoyed myself nearly mm -hmm. as much. So. Yes, because when she's in a recliner, she can actually get some of the pressure off her back. So that's much more, it, it's a much happier trip for you when yes. you can feel comfortable. Yes. So. And it helps me focus on my stitching. But I too. thought it was funny. I thought she should have sat down on the recliner and rode the elevator up. I think that would have been funny. <laughs> <laughs> and there was one other tenant in the whole yeah. complex, uh, a yeah, man. So, thankfully, nobody else needed the elevator. I was thinking wow, to myself, there, at least he didn't see no. us toting the elevator. Yeah, at least that didn't get seen being I mean, toted up. I brought all kinds of stuff. Like, I brought crock pot. We were, oh my gosh. Yeah. We, had, we had so much stuff. But yeah. what are you going to do? We were comfy, right? Yeah, we were comfy. We were well We weren't fed. in need of anything. No, we were not. Well, we were stitching, but we went but next door But that was there, too. So. Yeah, that was fun. You know. It was all win-win. It was. Oh, my goodness. So, should we show our goodies that we got? Let's. Okay. You going to go first? Okay. Oh, we can show the same old, same old. Yeah. Okay. I had pulled out this pattern to take along, and Deb and I were comparing notes, and she mm -hmm. said, let's. Let's. Yep, we each have so, it, and we love it. It's oh, Isabella it Sinclair, 1827, by GPA, and she... I, I fell in love with this the first time I saw it. I bought the pattern, but I didn't buy the threads or fabric for it at the time. So that was a mission. This is a gorgeous Scottish sampler. Gorgeous. Oh. And Deb and I picked two different fabrics. And then we had a blast. Um, much to our chagrin, we did like the palette of colors. We were going to do this just the way it was. But they had some holes in the thread colors that they had for silken colors. So it got to be creative. And so we started surfing all the silks and we came up with our own palette of colors. Um, and they're very, very pretty. But we did do them in silks. Now Deb went darker. I went lighter. I'll in show my fabric, you. yes. I'll show you mine. Excuse me, Harry Potter just <laughs> attached himself to my tin. Harry. Oh my gosh. I know. I'm taking Harry off my piece right now. Okay. There we go. There you go. All right. So I went lighter with just, um, originally I was going to go cream until I saw what it looked like with some of the colors. And I went back to pick up the right size also too. I had bought a stitching fat quarter, um, or stitcher's quarter, I guess they call it. And when I went back, to the room I realized I was two inches shy of being able to have a two inch margin the whole way around and I didn't want to get so narrow as to only have an inch so I went back to buy another piece and ended up with a different color I got white chocolate with mine to do mine on um, that's very pretty I don't know if you can is that yeah 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 and then Deb went a little tone darker than that uh, and yours is 32 count? Mine's 32. Over two? Over two. Okay. And I'm stitching mine on 40 count summer khaki. Uh, it's a Newcastle fabric and over two. So it's it's darker than Liz's. Um, same threads. And that's the, the color palette. These are all silks. There's 11 colors. Um, Liz, and they range from 
Silken Colors, Gloriana, and I, we didn't get any, um, oops, Belsois, did we? I don't think there's any no, Belsois. No, no. Oh, um, no, it's all Gloriana. Yep. It's Silken Colors. Yep. And then there's two Needlepoint Silk. Yep. The black and the, the white. The white and the black, yep. Yes. And then I went ahead and started mine. Just, I wanted to see what, and be able to show you what the colors were going to look like on here. I was here. supposed to start mine, and I didn't. <laughs> I was a bad girl. Well, at least I knew we were headed in that direction. This will probably be all so the farther pretty. I get for the next year and a half. I'll be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'm doing the border with two strands. Since it's on 32, I wanted that to be a little bolder. And then everything within this yeah. outline, um, I'm going to do in one strand. Yeah. Those letters are going to be so delicate. They're so pretty. They mm. are. Wow. So... That was our first beautiful. That's a gorgeous sampler. Must find and do. Yeah. That was what we were doing there. Yeah, yeah. So what else did you get? Want me to fix Harry? <laughs> there. Did you show him? He's so cute. I have a Harry Potter needle minder. And honest to gosh, if you ask me where I got him, I know it was online, but I don't remember exactly who from because it's been years. <laughs> but there's Harry. Very cute. I just figured he needed to do his magic if I was going to finish this. <laughs> <laughs> Wave away, Harry. <laughs> and then... You want me to go or you want to yeah, go? Yeah, go ahead. All right. I have walked by this pattern every retreat, every time, because I, I usually have got everything I want to get and, and then some. So I say to myself, I don't need anything new. I'm just going to get what I need for my kits. So um, this is by Erica Michaels. And it is a scissor fob. And that scissor fob is 1.7 inches. It's very small, very delicate. It's done on 30 count silk gauze. And the silk gauze comes with the chart pack. And then you use wool. These are pretty. And this is something I don't have in my stash. I have, a, I shouldn't say don't have any, but the colors I have are just colors that were given to me by some um, retreats, like a skein here or a skein there. And these are the, the colors. Now, the two at the end on, the, on this far end here, the first one that you come to next to the cranberry is oatmeal. The second one is shaker white. The oatmeal they did not have. How do you get it then, Liz? <laughs> you ask? I said to Sarah when I was standing I there, and I, didn't even see my lips move, did you? <laughs> and I picked out shaker white for my white because I thought, you know what? I think that's very pretty with these other colors. It looks very Victorian. Mm -hmm. um, I like the darker shade. But I looked at the cotton floss, and I thought, you know what? I'm okay with that. I'll get that. But I looked at Sarah when I was checking out, and I said, now, I have two skeins of Gentle Art wool at home. I said, what do you want to bet? One of them is baby spinach, and the other one's oatmeal. I said, two of them that I shouldn't have to buy today, but because they probably were in my bag the last time I thought about getting this, yeah. but forgot to take them out. <laughs> sure enough, you that's what was in there. <laughs> baby spinach, you notice I have two of those, and oatmeal. So I was preloaded. But look at this. What? They're different shades. Yes, they are. So I know which one I'm going to use. But if you notice, there's a difference in the dye lot of the two shades of green. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. So I'm inclined to go with the darker one. What do you like? Definitely. Yeah. I got it right. Yes, you did. <laughs> So anyway, that's the one I'm going to use. It's the darker shade. I like it. So anyway, beautiful. That was my new one, my new, my new endeavor. You did show the pattern, right? I did. Okay, I did. Just checking. Yep. Oh, real quick. Um, we'll stop our shopping, um, for right now and let you know that 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 alarm that went off, uh, is our subscriber tribute, and we wanted to just say thank you to everyone who takes that extra few seconds it takes to hit that subscribe button <laughs> and we want to say thank you oh and also these charts um we'll have um some viewers that send us things once in a while for our subscribers and so these are um 
a gift from Linda. Thank you, Linda. And the first person is Betsy Brown, and you'll be receiving the Winter Garden Sampler um, from the Victorian Sampler, Victoria Sampler. So since it's still winter, um, and outside the, and the threads. Accessory pack. Yes. Uh, it's supposed to be still winter, even though it doesn't feel like it around here. But this is beautiful. So if you can get a hold of us, um, Betsy, in the drop-down section, uh, you'll find my email there. Just get a hold of me, and I'll get that out to you. And it's so funny. They both have the same last name. The next subscriber is Sarah Brown. And you'll be getting D is for Dancer. And it is also from the Victoria Sampler. Um, and you'll be getting this pattern. So thank you very much for being subscribers. And hopefully you'll see this and get a hold of us. And we'll get that out to you. Also, we want to let you know who won the O Christmas tree pattern uh, from our last regular video before the dimensions. Yes. <laughs> Video 77. Yeah. Um, and that goes to Karen S. So Karen, same thing. If you can get a hold of us, I will get this out to you. All right. And that pattern is by Samplers Not Forgotten. Yes. By Kim Nugent. Yes. Um, Beautiful. Okay. All right. Back to shopping. Yes. All right. Commence well, shopping. This actually I had picked up before we left. I was going to show this to you a while back, and then I forgot. So here it is. I just thought this was a really pretty color. I happened to be out on, I think it was eBay, looking for something not even stitching related. And, of course, they do that nice thing where they help you think about what you should be looking for, and they show you things. And this came up, and I thought, isn't that a pretty, mm -hmm. that old town blend? Yep. I, I have not checked the dimensions on it. I think it's on here somewhere. But Yeah, it's very cute. And it's a pretty color. Um, I did pick up some other fabric. Just these are mice fabrics, Belfast. I'm going to do the gift that Deb got me for Christmas, the Lady of the Queen of the Needle. Mm -hmm. I think it's called. I think I'm going to do her on. Excuse me. On platinum. Okay. I'm not the Charlotte's pink. I'm just not sure I, I want to do it on there, so mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do it on the platinum. And then the Belfast white is for Mr. Chillingsworth. Uh, Frosty Chillingsworth, I think is his name. He's the <laughs> snowman. Um, and then I added to the stash um, some 36 count antique white. This Edinburgh um, happens to be the ground fabric for a piece I just finished. You'll see later. And I enjoyed stitching on yeah. this 36 count. Uh-huh. Yep, I did. So I bought it in antique white. Nice. Figured it might be fun to do some things on. Um, and this is not something I have a lot of, antique white. Yeah, it's really pretty. And then this is the piece that I bought thinking about my Isabella Sinclair. It's the 32 count. Um, so it's Belfast cream. Just nothing special. Just fun to work on. So now I've got a little bit more sampler fabric, and I was happy nice. about that. And this I saw uh, when Sandy came back from shopping. The day I didn't shop, I might as well have shopped I because know. when they came back and showed me everything, it was like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we all enabled each other. <laughs> so this is a Stacy Nash Primitive. It's called Henrietta. I right? love it. Yep. It's a little chicken, and she holds your scissors. So she's a little scissor pillow. She stands up. I love this one. I just think it's adorable. And this is done on Confederate Gray. It's by Weeks. And I did pick up a few of the threads, just a couple that I think I may not have in my stash. So. Oh, she's cute. She is cute. Oh, she's going to be fun to do. And then um, this year's, or last year's Prairie Schooler, Santa. I hadn't picked that up. And then... I'm shocked. You got another mouse? <laughs> this is Sugar Plum Fairy. I did not have her. She is so cute. Uh -huh. She's adorable. Are you making the stocking too? Well, the stocking isn't in here. Oh, it's not? No. Oh, okay. You have to get the stocking pattern. Um, and there's, they've started doing that. I've noticed there's, I think, three that have stockings mm. now. The elf has a stocking. This has a stocking. And there's <laughs> one other one that has a stocking. Um, but 
I don't know. Cute. I don't know how many stockings I'm going to get done. I, yeah. I, I just focus on the little mice. Mm -hmm. This. I love this one. And it's funny. This was on my list, and Sandy came back with this one too. Mm -hmm. It's fun how people have similar interests. I just thought that was so pretty. I, mm -hmm. I'm delighted with that. This I saw on Misty's channel. She had done it on her own fabric. Mm. And um, and I really thought the pattern was adorable. It's Brenda Gervais' Jolly Happy Soul. Um, and it's just so cute. And you could leave that out all winter. Mm -hmm. So that'll be fun to stitch. Yeah. And I thought I could stitch this perhaps on the cream, depending on what white I use. So I may use that 32 count for that. And let's see what else. Oh, remember... Prior to Christmas, I showed a little prairie schooler motif out of one of their sampler designs that had a cardinal. It was out of the button-up for winter yes. pattern. Mm -hmm. And it, it fit on the top of a tin box that we got at Salty Yarns. And um, it's next to my chair now still because it's still winter. But I'm using it for orts while I stitch. And they had some of these boxes down there. Now, I know in our comments, people made the comment that they were no longer available. If you were one of those people who were looking for these, give Salty Yarns a call because there were at least eight of them down there Okay. in the shop when we left on Monday. Okay. So, And um, they're five seventy-five dollars for the box. I got another one because I think I'm going to do a another design. I'm thinking the next one I'll do might go around the around the tin instead okay. of on top. Not sure. And then, <laughs> this is so cute. You'll see more of this little fellow. Um, but right now, this is all I'm going to show you. This is a Brenda Gervais pattern. <laughs> now, if you can see that that little peep is holding something, I see as close as I can. It's holding a little bunny pop if you will in his hand i just i fell in love with it i thought it was so cute mm -hmm. so this is stitchy dot i got it to go on this piece <laughs> i don't do that often but i just thought it was so adorable and of course it'll go on any other little spring pattern yeah. i might be stitching on so i got that cute. and then my friend gave me something one well both friends gave me something but these are the kits that um that Sandy gave me. She likes the peyote and every year for our jamboree I usually find a pattern I like and I do a, uh, a fob that matches all of us. The, she got me this. She said, no, I'm not getting you these because I think you need to make them for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> but one of them was the snowflake by Fern Ridge. You want to tell them now, Deb? About the jamboree? I'm sorry. I'm thinking, what? Oh, that that'll match your stocking? No. Who's going to be here? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my God. She brought this up three minutes ago, and she <laughs> forgot. <laughs> and this is the other one it's called. This is one of the designers that's going to be at the Jamboree, yep. Fern Ridge Collection. Yep. So, if you've ever wanted to peyote. If that's what we're doing, I assume it's what we're well, doing, Well, right? me too, yeah. They do have needle kits, too. Um, you oh. know the needle kits that go along with the fobs? And like, is that peyote or not? No, it's usually cross-stitch beaded ribbon okay okay yeah, but not okay. it's not a fob of any kind so i think sandy and leela they're gonna rewatch your your My video, video, video <laughs> just to you know <laughs> so anyway that'll be so much fun i'm excited to see it and um and or to see what they're gonna do yeah. and then to to take a class with them i have heard our stitches unlimited pat the um owner of that shop was telling us about the class that they took when they were at market last year mm -hmm. and it was Fern Ridge Collections and they decided to try peyote it was hysterically funny to listen to their stories these ladies evidently are born entertainers as well as designers <laughs> for peyote and they had a blast and uh -huh. then they told the stories about trying to do it while they were in bed yes. watching tv and the beads yes. were everywhere yeah. oh that was funny <laughs> so anyway that's pretty much my to do yeah yeah okay i was pretty good actually oh yeah. no wait i forgot the button form oh <laughs> i did get this 
<laughs> I was looking for a larger form for an ornament um, last fall and couldn't find one, and they happened to have one, so I picked it up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those I, are great. I did buy one other, two other things, though, that weren't actually at Salty Yarns. I bought a light, a halo light. I've seen them. Yes, you They're did. They're lightweight. They put out incredible amount of light, and they have a magnifier. So I did get one for travel. I also not only take my recliner, but I took my floor lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that part. <laughs> and my little stitching basket. I just set a house right there. Yeah. And so um, <laughs> with the halo, I won't have to worry so much about all the space um, to pack it and everything. Is that the one that Leela was using? The did Leela have one? Was, Sandy, Sandy had, had one had right one. next to you. Okay. But I didn't, okay. I didn't take notice of of what Leela was stitching okay. with for her light. Very cool. All right, so speaking about enabling, when everybody first showed up and we were getting ready to go to the store, Sandy had brought along two stocking patterns and she wanted to get thread and fabric for the stockings. Well, I fell in love with this one. She hadn't even got to the store and she was spending money. I, yeah, I had to order it right away. But because you had to order it, we went right through Carriage House, um, right through the website and ordered it. But it is a stocking. It's the Pennsylvania German stocking, and it's through Carriage House Samplings. But it is it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. This sucker's awesome. I mean, it's like band sampler. The colors are gorgeous. It is stitched in silk, but there's, on, but there's only a couple silks. Um, I just fell in love with that. I think that's amazing. And May can, I add something? That all the things that we bought online while we were there last week and were all at our houses when we got home. Mm -hmm. Everything had already yeah. arrived. Yeah. I walked in, my lamp was there. She walked in, her stocking was, was there. there. <laughs> Sandy got home and Leela got home and the stuff they uh, that Leela had ordered was sitting in her front porch. So it's like, that's unbelievable. So I chose 35 count Dove um, to do the stocking. And then the silks that it calls for are. Is that there's what only they used four. There in that photo? Is that dove? No, that, no, this is what I chose. Huh. What did they use? Hold on one second here. Okay. And so these are the silks. There's only four of them. However, I'm going to add a white to it also. Um, so I think it's going to be really, really, really pretty on there this. There are only four colors in on that? this color on this color fabric. That whole thing is done with four colors. Mm -hmm. Yep. <whistles> yep. Yeah. See. So I they, would never have known that. Huh. I don't think it tells you there. I'll have to look on here. So anyway, I'm excited to start that one because that okay. is just beautiful. Mm. I didn't pick up on that at the distance that she was holding this down there. I did not realize that was just four. Those four colors are gorgeous on there. They stitched it on 40 count green slate from Lakeside Linen. Okay. That's what they stitched it on. Boy, that's close, isn't it? I mean, the picture is close to that. I don't know yeah, what I don't green know, slate I didn't, looks yeah, like. Yeah, me neither. But I liked, I think this is beautiful. And it I like that, I don't know, the fabric is just, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be exciting. So Sandy helped me with that one. Enabler. And then I picked out fabric for the Heartland sampler. Okay. I didn't even tell you this yet. Remember the Heartland sampler? No. That has Hank on it and it has the barn and it's like a farm scene. Yes. I forget who the I designer do is. Okay. That wasn't Paulette, was it? N no. Okay. No. Um, I don't think so. All right. Anyway, I don't know if I just dreamed I bought it. I cannot find that darn thing. And I bought fabric and all of the threads to stitch it. And now I'm wondering if I ever bought it. Well, see, that's why I'm saying I don't think I've ever physically seen the pattern. So if you bought it, <laughs> <laughs> she's not sharing with her friend and showing me what she's getting in the mail. I can't believe it. Wow. Yeah. How crazy is that? Did I just dream it? That I bought it's it? It's not stuck somewhere to be put away, is it? No. Like we picked no. it up at one of our events or something. No, and but every time I walk into Stitches Unlimited, Pat has it hanging on the wall in there, and I love <gasps> it. That's where I saw it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I didn't remember seeing your pattern. I was thinking that's where I saw it was, yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Oops. <laughs> Guess he has some shopping to do. I can't believe that. So anyway, I have all the threads. And I have fabric, and I have no chart. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Anyway, I picked 46 count vintage light exemplar to do that um, design on. If I 
Now, I can't believe that. Isn't 46 count what Sandy was stitching her sampler on too? She is stitching her red chair sampler yeah. on 46 count. That is a pattern I had on my list. It's mm -hmm. funny because Deb didn't know that. I had it on the list along with those two other patterns. The, the two I actually went looking for was Frosty mm -hmm. and Merry Christmas. The other two I picked up, three, sorry, um, were not on the list, but the red chair was, and they didn't have that one. I know. So we're and still we on a mission for that one. loved that pattern. Yeah. And Sandy was working on it while we were there. And oh, oh, my gosh. gosh. beautiful. And we're going to do it in the Tudor silks. Holy cow. Gorgeous. We did try to get the silk, but they didn't have the ones we needed for that. So mm -hmm. we're going to... No, we only got one. We're so. going to... I can't... Can you believe I did that, though? No. I honestly thought... I mean, yes and no. I mean... <laughs> 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 More yes than no. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Well, it's not like we haven't right. been busy. Okay, yes, give me an excuse. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. You're welcome. I wanted to pick up some more hoops because I absolutely love the hard work hoops. So, they had this shape there that I did not have, and I got that one. And then I got one of the wider, smaller circles, and then I got this one. Do you have this size? No. No? Yours like this is smaller? Mm hmm Okay. In fact, it's... So, this was like my big investment, getting, right those, getting those sizes. No, that's a different one. Okay. Um, um, we're going to show you something with those Hardwick hoops in a future video, um, but we're not ready to do that yet. Something that we learned this weekend from Sandy, and we'll, we'll show you what she showed us. Okay. And then I chose this pattern. Um, I have seen it stitched quite often. Um, and changed a lot, and that and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to definitely change it up, but I just think it's really pretty. You should have heard the discussion down there. Is that the horse I saw? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's where did horse. we? Where did we not both see it? <laughs> <laughs> and then I wanted to get some banding. Um, this is what I chose, and it is 24 count cream, and I love the edge to this one. I think it's so pretty. Oh, you got some too? Nope. Oh, not the, okay, not the same edge, but yeah. We got this. You got that to do this, right? Well, or did you I change your mind? I don't know. I got a yard of it because one other thing that I want to do is if you watch um, Sassy Jack Stitchery, her floss tube videos, um, Kimberly Young, she talks about a learning stitches sampler, band sampler that she's going to be doing through um, Sassy Jack's. You, ha you do have to buy the book from Jeanette Douglas, uh, but you don't have to buy it from them. You can purchase it wherever, although I think Sassy Jacks does have the book for you if you need to purchase it. But once you have the book, everything else is free, like your chart, you know, your directions. You'll get um, all the instructions and everything from Sassy Jacks is all free. And you can just um, go on their website, and she'll explain everything on the website and how you can get involved in it. So... I got the book, and I'm going to be joining along in that and stitching. And so I the think gist of it is you need the book because the stitches she's going to be putting on her band sampler are in, are this, in book. this book. Okay. All right. um, and then, so I think I'm, the only thing is I'm not sure exactly the width of the banding I need yet because I just discovered to do this. So uh, if this is the wrong size banding, then I will order something else. Um and Liz has a beautiful band sampler pattern that would look nice on this also. And you may have already seen this if you've been watching this for a while, but I bought this a while ago. This is uh, Embroidery ABCs. And what I could not remember, which is why I didn't start it, was whether they had done their model, which was done on this banding, with the, the little, I'm sorry, when I showed it to you, I didn't show you the edge oh. that's actually designed. I showed you the back side of it. But this has a little bit of a raised pattern in the weaving of the linen on the sides, so it's finished. But it's 27 count, but it is done over one. And that's what I could not decide. Every time I looked at this, I thought one or two, one or two. Um, so... It is so cute, and it's not very long when it's done. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, it's about mm, 18, 20, somewhere in there. 
uh, and then there's it's twice that size with enough room for top and bottom <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm looking forward to doing that one that'll it, be a fun one to do yeah it's very pretty when you see it finished. all done in DMC and and the color palette is very pretty mm -hmm. while it's well on the on the banding it looks rather um, bright the actual color palette is kind of a muted shades of those colors so that's fun so that'll be fun mm -hmm. anyway i interrupted this your shopping no is... my shopping that's it that's it that's it done shopping yep did we have fun that was it yes <laughs> lots of fun boy we had fun <laughs> And we even shopped again on Monday on our way out of town. That's when I picked up my white chocolate linen for that other piece. That's when I got my banding. And um, so, what have you been working on? Okay, works first, right? All right, so I really, 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 really want to get this finished. And I took it off the frame to bring down to show you. Because I'm getting so close. Oh my gosh. Um, a friend is coming over to stitch with us on Tuesday. And when Tina gets here... She wants to go to the frame shop in Strasbourg because she has something to pick up. And if I can get this piece finished, I want to drop this off to get it framed into the tray. And so, my sister's coming. To yes, join us. yes. She's Let in me show you the pattern Tennessee. again. It's ornaments all around, blend in place. So this is the one I've been working on, and I really want to get it finished. I'm getting there. It's you are. so much fun. This is what I have so far. You almost have to point out that just this one little corner is all you have left because yep. it almost, it looks done when you just view it. There is a um, charm that goes in the middle and then, yes, I'm working on this corner. So I have this ornament to finish. This one needs beads. Then there's going to be another um, gingerbread star Oh, it's not ornament. a gingerbread guy? Nope. And then um, more of the greenery. So that's what I have to finish in that corner. The other star ornament is going to look like this one over here different oh, color but so they're this opposite one. each other mm -hmm. I never took notice lots of, that. of beads lots of chronic all DMC but this is so much fun and I'm very proud of myself because I'm a seasonal stitcher and I can't believe I'm sticking with this to get it finished but I really want to get it done this is on that fabric that I absolutely love called days gone by in fact when we were at salty yarns I wanted to get some of it and it was all bought out it was gone but it's it's a lot of fun to stitch on so there was a remnant. That's my goal. Did you see the remnant? Yeah, but it was too small. It was very small. Yeah. That's all that was left. Yeah. Tiny little piece. Yeah. It was like seven inches wide and I yeah. don't know how many inches long. So I'm really trying to get that finished. And I also worked on my uh, truck snow globe, um, Shannon Christine Designs. This is the pattern. And... This is what I have accomplished so far. Let me grab this white paper right here, please. Ooh, thank you. That's what, I don't have any of the back stitching or any, anything finished down below, but hopefully I can get that accomplished. And I worked on my In Heaven and Nature Sing by Kathy Barrick. Wow, that's coming along nice. Do you know what I did? So pretty. We were, when I was at Goods looking for, for floss, uh -huh. I was quite sure I remembered the colors of green that, remember I said of all the green to not have, it's the colors on the trees? You know, I bought six skeins of green. I still didn't get the right number. <laughs> Are you doing it in DMC? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so this is what I have so far. I'm only doing the green. Oh, Okay. But the other ones, I mean, I have the okay. other ones. Well, that brings up a good point, doesn't it? So, anyway, the deer I am doing, um, mm. as we've talked about before, this is on 40 count, but I am stitching the deer with two strands of thread because I do not want to see fabric through my deer. Um, and down here in the little sign, I put the year. So I'm committed now. I must get this finished. <laughs> um, she has a different date in there, and I went ahead and put 2020 in there. And just goes to show the 2020 is stitched in the same dark brown as the deer, but it just shows you this is one strand and this is two. What a difference that is. I'm also backstitching my little trees. These, these trees here, I'm backstitching those. Um, I have changed the colors 
and everything else is stitched with one strand. That's what I have done so far. It just occurred to me that I have variegated threads for all of them. I was gonna, I picked them out for you when we were at Stitches Unlimited. Did we Unlimited. pick out a green though? I picked out a green. Right. And you I... said, get me whatever you're getting. Oh, so you, so you did get them. me a green. You should. Oh, I don't need those <laughs> DMC colors. Now I have six skeins I don't need at all. Um, Eventually. Yes, I did change the colors and the fabric is 40 count bisque. Yes. Bisque. Bisque. And I'm doing mine on 32. Soup. Oh, and then when we were down, um, mm. when we were away at the beach, Comes I worked happy on... kids. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I worked on two things. My beautiful folk art children. Happy, happy, happy boys and girls. Um, happy, happy, happy. Oh, stop happy, it. Happy, happy, um, so I'm working happy. on the boy first. I just watched the movie Sing the other day. You know those little um, I never boxes saw that dance? No, you I never saw it. it. Oh, my gosh. No. It's so fun. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, so I'm working on the little boy, and he's he's headless. Because she doesn't want to put yes. her face on. He's happy, and he's headless. <laughs> <laughs> Ichabod, yeah. little boy. This is what I have so far, and I do not have any back stitching in here um, yet. But uh, this is a lot of fun to work on, and I oh my gosh, I felt like I was stitching grass forever. It looked that way too. While you oh were doing my it. goodness, this is 40 count. Um, yeah, that that grass. Oh, mercy. Every time somebody says, So, what are you working on? Grass, what are you working on? Grass, <laughs> still working on grass. Yes, <laughs> oh, gosh, get the mower. Oh my goodness, yeah. So, and then the other thing I worked on is a finish. I'll have to show you then. All right. That's all. Is that right? All right. Well, I showed you the corner of my Scottish sampler that I worked on. Mm -hmm. And then I was working on this while I was away. I got um, part of my this Bornu Brown Bird done. I started Say that ten times. this center segment here so that I would have something to count from. And that's the one segment. Very, very small because mm. I'm doing it over one. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than the actual Biscornu. Um, did she stitch it over one? Nope. Oh, okay. She did it over two. And she did it on a higher count than I'm doing mine okay. on. Okay. So that's that. Then I, oh, you guys are going to like this. Mm -hmm. I got quite a bit of progress mm -hmm. on my. Um, Do you want Feliz Navidad? Yes, please. I would like to use that. That's the sampler by Blackbird Designs. And that is where I am right now. That looks so pretty. Just about down the left hand side. I'm down to the section where the motifs, just about where the motifs start. So um, then that'll be fun because I'll be able to start filling in some of those and then the bottom. That's so pretty. So the, the oh, only let's get time stuck on the hedgehog. The only time consuming part of this actually, and I'm finding is the fact that the letters change color so frequently in this design. Oh. So I'm just using my preloaded needle techniques and keeping mm -hmm. them ready to go. Yeah. Um, which I don't have it right here, but I have a, Pretty. that gadget I showed the one time with the little sponge inside and you can stick your needles in it and then I can close it with my needles threaded. That's what I like about that. Does that gadget design and then I started this um, you've mm -hmm. seen this I picked it up at Stitches Unlimited one day it's by Beth Seals uh, Summer House Needleworks or Stitchworks excuse me and it's on 40 count and she used two threads and I wanted to see what it would look like both ways so I had started with the double and was working along, I got the, the row done, and then I thought, I wanna just check what one strand would look like. And so that little guy next to that is the single thread. And I do like the double. I think it's just much bolder, and you don't see the fabric. Obviously, if that's a, a style you like, then do it with one strand, but she did hers, and the model was done with two. So I started that. It, this went fast. 
really fast. Yeah. I did that one evening watching TV, watching some movie we had on. Then I like her. She she's a great designer. She is. And I like the fact that she used two threads on forty count. Mm -hmm. And also she will stitch with her over dyed threads. Mm -hmm. She'll fold them and, and stitch that way. And I am doing my Scottish sampler yeah. that way yeah. because that's what the instructions said she did on the Scottish sampler. Okay. She said I use the loop method on my threads where I use two strands, but she said what I do is I use the Danish method. Even oh yes, I saw that. And I go back and forth and back and yeah. forth. So yeah. Um, and that's basically also what Beth does. She goes back and forth. She doesn't cross each stitch yeah. when she stitches. Yeah. So I am giving myself all kinds of permissions on these different things I'm working on. And you do you, babe. Anything. I am. Break those rules. Shake and bake. <laughs> um, so this is my... This is so cute. Quaker... American Quaker Band Sampler. Excuse me. These colors are pretty. They are. They did not look like the picture when I started them. Uh, I mean, obviously the threads didn't look like the picture either, but when I started it, I thought, wow, that really is different. Um... Is this the call for a fabric? Uh, did I, they did not give darker. you. They did not give you a fabric per se. They said linen. Oh. 25 count linen. Yeah. Um, so I did use something darker. I wanted mine mm -hmm. to be darker. Yeah. Um, but the picture is not accurate either. You'll see the threads don't match. Mm -mm. Um, mm -hmm. And they are DMC. So, but this is American Quaker Sampler. I'm just about down to the large type text on the one side. That's what I, my goal was to get past here where I can see that larger yeah. text start to take And what shape. color is that going to be? That is 3371. So it's going to be a long, narrow sampler. Yes. Uh, let me double check what color that is because. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's the square. Oh, wow. What? Black. <laughs> Black. I thought it was some fancy brown based on the picture on the front. Doesn't that look like a brown? Yes. It's not. It's like a dark chocolate. Now, see, chocolate. this to me looks black, mm -hmm. but this looks brown. Mm -hmm. I may actually do it in, do dark it in brown. Do it, yeah. I think I like that look. So, there we go. We yeah, yeah. figured that one out. Now, this is fun. Where did I hide it? Here it is. Okay. Remember I showed you this kit that I picked up the chart pack I mean with the gauze and the pattern and I wanted to get it started to see what it was like and there's two ways to use to stitch on your gauze you can take a piece of chipboard and cut a, a square the size of your design and then mount your gauze I put mine between two pieces of chipboard and then I put tape around the inside so it's not um, what do I want to say before I put the two pieces together, I put a piece of tape on the inside of the chipboard so there's nothing that I can catch my thread on, oh. nothing rough. Then I put the two pieces together, and you know those um, project covers as a kid? They're just clear plastic, and they have that little spine that you slide up to hold your pages inside. Oh, yes. What I did was I mm -hmm. took those spines, and I cut them the size of my clip chipboard, and then I slip them over my mm -hmm. chipboard to hold those two pieces together. Okay. That's how I made my chipboard okay. frame. But I can't find it. So I had to go by their instructions um. and I did it a different way. And what they instruct you to do is to take a piece of firm, heavy gauge fabric, baste your gauze onto it, and then using a, just a, a, a cross hatch with your basting to hold it in center. Then sew it to your linen all the way around. You can either use a zigzag stitch or do it by hand. I did mine by hand. And then you just pull your linen away from the gauze and cut it out up to where you baste it so that you've attached it to your fabric. And then you can mount your fabric into your hoop. So that's what that is. And that space in the middle will hold two complete designs, one for the front and one for the back. And then this is what I started up here in the corner is the green. And it's 30 count, so it's really not stressful to work on. And I was enjoying it. And it's just the continental stitch. So it's 
Which is a half, half stitch. stitch. <laughs> or a tenth stitch. Yeah. How many you different might... words can we have for the same thing? I'm I'm trilingual. <laughs> <laughs> you know, three words for that. Um, so, anyway, mm -hmm. um, this was just like maybe uh, an hour mm -hmm. to sit and just do that little section there. So that was just the first pass and that was fun. So that's what that's all about. Very cool. That will be a lot of fun. I'm excited for you to show your finish. <laughs> you want me to go first? Yes. All right. I know what Deb is. I saw her, I saw her do it. <laughs> All right. When we were at the Jamboree, we all decided ahead of time that we would take something from our stash as a swap. And, you know, something we weren't working on that we wanted to move on. And this was given to me. It's by Scattered Sea Samplers. It's called Little Berry Thief Fin, fin Keep. Pin keep. <laughs> Thief Pin Keep. And, um... And it was a kit. It's really pretty. Yeah. Very primitive. So thank you, Willa. Drum roll. You get to see it, Willa. And I, I still am not completely oh, it's sold so pretty. on how I <gasps> I love it. Isn't it's it perfect. Thank you. Yes. And look at the oh back. Oh my gosh. Back has Aww, a feather stitch down it's the back. Perfect. Oh my god. I was gosh. really happy with that. I love the size. It is a big guy, that isn't it? That is so cool. It's like monster berry. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Look at that. And they There's glued, her feather stitch. They Perfect. glued the green down on top, but not No, me. you stitched it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Look at that. Oh my gosh. Stitch. Now, I will tell you, I am not Perfect. good with walnut shells. I was going to just fill the whole thing with walnut shells. Yeah. Holy moly. No, I like that you did it with the... I do that too. I put it sometimes down in the point and then yep. I like that. Do you know how it's hard nice. it is to try to close it when it's all walnut shells? Mm -hmm. I could not. Mm -hmm. I struggled for an hour and a half. That is Taking so cool. some out. Then I got my funnel and I was just putting it in through the little hole. Yeah. But then I couldn't get it to fill in the top of the strawberry nicely to, to fill it out. So I said, you know what? That We're is going for so the polyfill. Cool. And the colors are so pretty. They are. And there's only a couple DMC. Yep. That is so cute. I love it. Yep. Oh my gosh. The size is so cool. Mm -hmm. Now, they said All attach... All of our other strawberries are tiny. I know. I love it. They said attach the silk ribbon through the oh, mother of pearl so hoop. Cool. But I, I thought, you know what? I kind of like dressing it up a little bit more. I Just to have that long mm -hmm. silk didn't look right. But I was hoping maybe before I leave today... You might have another little brown something or another that I could tie around the base of that. Just give it another little dimension. I don't oh, have you much, don't like this? I don't have much ribbon. I oh, think that's awesome. You wouldn't add anything? I wouldn't. Okay. I think that's perfect. Okay. I well, really, really love it. And I and this charm came with it, but it doesn't tell you where to put the charm. Oh, I love it. So I pinned what it on with that my pin counting pin. Oh, your counting pin? You did that? Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Thank very, you. very cool. Thank you, thank you. Love that pattern. So, Willa, that's awesome. Thank you. Little add to my little stash. You know where that is if it's missing. <laughs> All right, drum roll. Deb has a new <laughs> oh skill set. Yeah. Okay, well I gotta tell you something and funny. And finish. When we when we came fun. home, <laughs> what? Oh, when we came home from our trip, and Matt said, "So, did you have a good time?" Um, and I said, "Yeah, we had a great time." And I am officially a hooker now. <laughs> and he looks at me like, <laughs> "A bigger bird." <laughs> I worked all day on she this. Did. She actually had no engagement with us except the occasional, Ouch. are we Are we eating? <laughs> are we hungry? <laughs> that, we got that. But I don't miss a meal. <laughs> she was so focused on it. She started in the morning. I did. Right after I got up with my coffee, she's out there banging away with her I am, latch yes. hook. And then she didn't finish till bedtime. I know. It was Super Bowl day. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I want to say thank you very much to a very kind viewer uh, that, that hooked us up with the hooking. <laughs> um, this is the pattern. Sweet little chicken. Sorry about the tissue. That's okay. And here's my finish. Now, I didn't get it um, blocked yet, but the hooking part is, is finished. So here is my chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Yeah. And then I just will have to block it and then figure out how I want to finish it. So that is all done. And, you know, it's not perfect, and that's okay. It's my very first one. So it was a lot of fun, though. It was a lot of fun. How can you tell it's not so, perfect? I, it can't be. 
It's not. But the beauty of rug hooking, who knows if it's perfect? Like, I love the fact that hooker. you can. I love <laughs> no, I love the fact that you can turn your. That's the one thing that that I was really excited about when I started mine was you can. You can make it as uniform or as yeah, non-uniform so as you want to with the way you you angle your. I, I mean, it not looks. Stitches, I was they? just happy that called. it looks like a chicken. <laughs> looks very much like so, a chicken. It's gorgeous. Um, anyway, like it. that that was a lot of fun, and I'm excited that I got that one finished. That could be wall-to-wall -wall carpeting in a dollhouse. Oh my gosh, it could be a dollhouse <laughs> rug. Yeah, wall wall yeah. to wall. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Cute. So that's my my finish. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad that we did that. That was Yay. very fun. Now, yes, we're going to go to Gadget Corner. But oh, yeah. before we do, I want to mention something. We, we did comments earlier with our Dimensions video. Um, that was the first video we ever edited. We oh. used iMovie, and it was it was um, fun. I had a blast. I learned so much about what you can do with video um, and audio files. And often, Deb and I will be doing a video, and people will leave a note that said, you know, sometimes it's hard to hear, or we didn't hear that part because you were talking to each other and you weren't speaking loud enough. Well, all those little things, you know, you're going through your mind when you're doing these videos. So. We're working on them. We're doing the editing on some videos, not all of them. That's not something we want to make our lot in life. But we did it. That's what I'm happy about. Yeah. And it was fun. And um, the footsteps, yeah, they were a little loud. But they were there. They worked. And okay. next time we do it, we will uh, pay attention to your comments. Okay. Thank you. You had fun with it? And I that's all did. that matters. I so. did. Moving on, no apologies. But let's go. Next edit. Um, I know what it's going to be. It'll be fun too. <laughs> and now I'll tell you, this rug hooking is a mess, though. <laughs> oh my gosh, you should have Woo! seen the area. There is there's wool all over the place. It's like you're wool. there to do nothing but free the fibers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. But it's, I think that gets better once I block it. I think that that kind of like sets it all in there. So yeah, I told you about the ones that Barb's grandmother made for her children she did rugs right uh -huh. yeah she did them on the floor yeah. rugs that holds yeah. up those those strips of wool felt are incredibly sturdy and you could still see the designs and these rugs have been in their bedrooms for ages I wow. was really surprised at how well they yeah. wear yeah very cool yep all righty okay gadget, gadget corner. corner I had a, an inquiry um, about um, how you could more easily see patterns. And um, I, I mentioned to Kathy when she asked, she also is looking at whether or not you can get um, patterns that are colored, whether you should color the symbols if they're black and white, if that would make it easier to see. That would be an option for anybody. Um, before I did that, I'd probably use a piece of highlighter tape and just move my tape a couple lines at a time, then mm -hmm. try to color in the whole pattern. Mm -hmm. But this gadget is a page magnifier. They're found most readily in Bible bookstores or places, stationery stores, things like that. It magnifies a large section at a time. So I'm going to use this page of instructions so you can see the difference but you will need to find a way to space your magnifier from your piece but you can see here that that changes let's, let's go up and down for a minute oh, so I can show them the regular text you can see there the regular text from the text that's enlarged and it's very helpful mm -hmm. so they do have a device um, they sell them at Staples and we showed one on Gadget Corner it can clip to your metal magnet board or to the stand you have your pattern in. And the other end of this little gooseneck is also the same clamp. And then you can clamp this out at whatever depth you need it in order to make the magnification what you need in, in for mm -hmm. purposes of enlargement. Yeah. So these are awesome. 
and uh, I'm going to use it from time to time for my own. But this would work whether it was a colored chart or a black and white oh, chart. Yeah. yeah. So I will put a link to a source online down there. And this one, if you're in the local area that we're in, I picked this up at Goods, um, which is a department store. <laughs> Boo. <Ooh. laughs> this is like one of those and makeup you're mirrors. you're big on the other side, too. That's funny. We're both looking at each other's enlargement. Um, and uh, Goods is like a department store farm, farm store. What would you call it? What do you call oh. Farm and Fleet? What do they refer to those? I as? wouldn't call Goods a farm store. It's oh. uh, I don't know. Okay, um, but it's a department store. They got a lot of little. They got a lot of. It's men and many I different own, things. So you can just find all kinds of really neat things there. Yeah. This one was there. Yeah, that's pretty so, cool. Page magnifiers. They're great. Um, the highlighters that are on magnets will also help because while they don't enlarge the chart. If you put them on a magnetic board, if you're using a, a low ran metal board with magnets, the highlighter strip is on magnets itself, and it just slides up and down, too. And I use those from time to time. Deb's captivated by my magnifying page. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she could go around the whole room. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't so, take much to excite me. I'm not All sure right. what to say about that. Considering I'm supposed to be her sidekick. <laughs> I'll let that go. Oh, you're always exciting. <laughs> it doesn't take much. Doing That's your like chair. You heard her. <laughs> well. All right. We will uh, be back before too long. Yep. We enjoyed our trip away. Yes. And um, hopefully we'll get some more time in the next few days to work on this. I know we're going to have Tuesday with our friends mm -hmm. to stitch. Mm -hmm. Yep. And yep. So as always. See you next time. Share, Share the joy of needlework. See ya. Bye-bye.